is good tamers in today's video i want to talk about how to use protection that's right how to protect your cards if you enjoy the content please remember to give me a like and also subscribe to the channel now keeping your cards in tip-top condition that's within your best interest right now especially considering the whole tcg boom we're no longer in 2002. I remember in the OG days, I would be buying cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, just to play with my friends, and you know how it goes. In the middle of a duel with Lil Jimmy, you bust out Raigeki on his first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon, and he goes, no way, you're cheating. Picks up your card with his gross, greasy hands, long fingernails, to read the description. We don't want that happening anymore. We're no longer at that era. We've moved on and we know how to take care of our cards. A lot of people understand that taking care of your cards, especially vintage cards, is very, very important. Now, the condition of your cards is actually predetermined by two factors before you even get your hands on it. The first factor is factory QC, not all cards are made equal especially you know special hollow or secret rare cards or ghost rare cards in Yu-Gi-Oh's case sometimes they come out of the factory like they barely survived a fight with your crazy ex but assuming that your card came out fine with no issue centering and everything is okay the other predetermined factor is where you got your card from did you pull it out from your own pack or did you trade it or buy it off someone? In that case, the condition may vary when you get your hands on the card. Now, let's say you've got your card fresh out of the pack and you want to make sure you're doing your due diligence and keeping them in mint condition. Here are your options. First, you're going to want to sleeve your card, but always, always make sure that you get the correct size for your cards. Pokemon and Digimon cards are about the same size. Yu-Gi-Oh cards, a bit smaller. Uh, for me, I like a snug fit. So these sleeves right here are perfect for Yu-Gi-Oh cards, for example. So what I like to do personally is double sleeve cards, especially your prized cards that you just pulled. So what you normally wanna do is the double sleeve method. Take your card, one, sleeve this way and another sleeve this way of course you gotta make sure the sleeves fit with sleeves there are also ones that have the adhesive so then they can completely cover the card if that's what you're into completely covering your stuff after that you have the option of putting your cards in a binder like this I always double sleeve these cards and I always get binders that have the opening on the side like this. The reason being when the opening is on the top, you risk the chance of your cards falling out of the place and then thus getting damaged. And finally, you want a binder that has zippers for the extra little bit of protection. Now, why? Why do people use sleeves? Well, in my opinion, it is to protect surface damage and edge damage mostly. But one thing that people neglect or don't really think about is the corner damage. So a lot of these corners are very fragile and easy to get damaged, even in a sleeve. But luckily, we have a solution for that. So you see this plastic case over here? There are actually three types of plastic cases that I want to talk about. First is this type, which is normal encasing, just the normal encasing of the card. Um, you sleeve your card, pop your card in there, and close the case. That way you can ensure the corners of your card are kept safe and um, you can kind of, as you can see, it doesn't move around. It just stays in place in there. And with this type of case, you can get a deck box like this and insert it in while protected. Like so, fits like a glove. 
deck boxes are good for when you're on the go. If I need to uh, go out somewhere with my cards, these are the perfect transportation tools. So make sure to pick one up if you are the type that goes out with your cards all the time. Second type of case is these ones over here, way thicker and quite hefty too, actually. Now they have one magnet up here. And as you can see, my card is safely protected in this case. Sleeved, of course. And how this works is you just clip it in down here and let the magnet do its thing. These things are quite hefty. I have um, quite a few of these. These are my favorite type of uh, cases so far. And uh, you, can, you can go around with these. They fit all types of cards in there and your cards will stay in pristine condition. The last type of casing is something like this that I would recommend anyway. As opposed to the one magnet mechanism, this one is larger with four magnets one on each corner. This works just as fine. I actually don't prefer these as much because of uh, how big they are and they don't fit in my little box here. They don't fit. So, so I much prefer these ones. And if you want to go a step further, there are these little bags, plastic bags, where it has the adhesive. So you can uh, slide your case in the bag. We'll seal it like this. That's another layer of protection. If you don't want to get like smudges or fingerprints on your uh, case. The last type of uh, case, I know I said there were three, but there's one more. Okay. Are these slabs? from uh, PSA or your BGS, uh, whatever grading company. I quite like these. They're light, easy to transport, and the cards stay in place. Uh, the card itself doesn't have any type of sleeve in there, but it's PSA, so you know they're doing good. And the thing with these are they stack with each other very, very nicely. So you probably want to get a box or something to keep these in if you are a fan of uh, graded cards. Anyway, this has been my video of various types of protection. I hope you learned something. I hope you uh, keep your uh, cards wrapped up. Let me know what types of protection you guys use. And uh, that's all for today. Peace out.